Hello, so you've got a problem and I've got a solution for you. My name is Jared Bendis. And so what you have is a very, very fancy QuickTime movie that you've shot on your very, very fancy iPhone. Some 4K resolution, ginormous QuickTime movie. Matter of fact, I'm looking at one right over here. That's 1.81 gigabytes that is a very very big file and it is only oh my god five minutes long so of course that's what's going to happen when you do this and then you're going to take this file and you're going to try to load it into something like premiere elements or premiere pro and it's going to go quick time movie i don't know what to do with that well you're going to have to convert the video and what you're going to do is you're going to transcode it using a program called handbrake which you're going to download from handbrake.fr now the best part about this program is is open source free and pro class cross platform that is right windows mac and linux free and open source so download it now wait let me come over here and show you what we're going to do so i've taken this quick time movie and voila i've loaded up over here and you're going to notice that it says it's four minutes and 59 seconds but it is huge because it is 3840 by 2160 that's 4000 pixels wide so we call it 4k video and it's 60 frames per second so this is a really really big file so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert it and i'm going to use one of the presets now don't just do the default you're going to have to pick the right preset and the preset that i'm going to use is going to be under web and i'm going to choose vimeo youtube hq which is going to be the streaming quality hq meaning high quality 2160p matching our 2160 over here and of course we're going to do which of course at 60 frames per second this is our 4k video so this matches this and once i've matched those settings remember you want to read the settings up here right whatever this setting here is look at the second number the second number 60 frames per second so again if your number was different you would come over here and choose whatever the proper second number was and the proper frame rate again in our case it's very easy this is the one i want the vimeo youtube hq now that i've done that i'm going to make sure that i point to where i want to save and i'm going to hit start in code and you're like yay this is going to be great this five minute file took an hour and a half to convert and my computer is pretty damn fast but that's what's going to happen and when you're done you're not going to get an mp4 file even even though it says it's an mp4 file instead what you're going to get is an m4v file which technically is an mpeg4 file but what you're going to find is is that this 1.4 gigabyte file look it got slightly smaller this 1.4 gigabyte file will actually it is a standard file format and it will and it should actually open in premiere elements or in premiere pro or any other video program that you want because a lot of people just don't like seeing that dot mov anymore anyway my name's jared i hope this helps you and good night.